Hey everyone, Dabloon here. It's been a while. It's been a pretty long while actually. And the last time we made a video for Bloons was maybe six months to a year ago. Because for a little bit I tried to do some Smash Brother videos as you can see on my channel. But unfortunately nobody really wanted to see those. I got seven or six or seven views. Probably was me checking on it just to make sure the video didn't look stupid. So I had to check it out a couple times. So. Um, after realizing that not many people want to watch me play that game, I'm com coming back to this game. I've been playing it a little more on BTD6 on my phone. Uh, stopped really playing BTD5, but been trying to get as many levels as I can for BTD6. Um, what we're going to do today is just a real simple strategy for hard mode on any beginner map. So intermediate um, is pretty similar. We can figure it out just as simple. but a little variation here and there. So for today, like I said, it's just going to be any beginner map this strategy will work. It's pretty much any map that has multiple points of contact. So the monkeys have multiple chances to hit the balloons, not just one straight path. Those are where the game gets hard and where you have to employ different strategies, put more monkeys before you upgrade them, so on and so forth. So again, thank you guys for subscribing to my videos. Uh, I think I'm at 79 or 80 and I hit up to like 4,000 something views on one of my videos on how to. Which I think is amazing. I did not expect that when I started playing. I just wanted to play a little bit of battles, a little bit of BTD5, and just for fun make a video and all of a sudden people started watching. So thank you guys and I hope you guys keep enjoying my videos. So let's just get down to it. Uh, we're going to start with O-B-Y-N, -O Oban. Um, I just call him Oberon, I don't know why. That's my name for him. And he's cool because he has this little brimble bush thing and this thing attacks the balloons for you. And it's really nice. I also choose him because of his lead popping capabilities. Without that, you'd have to get um, more characters into the map, which you don't want. You just want as many, least amount of monkeys as you can. At least that's my strategy. So we're going to start with him, let him do his thing. And then what I do in all beginner maps, and any map that allows me to, I get the magician. When I say allows me to, I just mean a map that has multiple points of contact, so the magician can do his best work on there. Because if he only has one straight shot, it's not going to be as much popping power. And that goes for pretty much any any monkey. You want them to have as many points to hit those balloons. And as you can see where he's placed, he has that whole bottom corner. You can't really see because I have the my big old head right there. But if you're playing, you know what this map looks like. So don't forget to keep putting down your little brimble bush. Uh, let's throw in another monkey. Let's throw in our magician. Put him... This is a good spot for him. And for him, we're going to get up to our third tier upgrade on the top. And that's going to be 1405, I think it is. And that one is really nice. It doesn't, I don't think it even hits lead, but that's why we got Oberon. He's going to handle our leads, but he doesn't handle camo. Well, this little brimble bush, you can take care of it, but we just want to be on the safe side for future on in the level. So we're going to have our monkey here. Um, you can wait to get monkey sense because you don't need it right away. And then our next battle after getting him up to speed is going to be those purples. So I usually just use a, uh, a sniper monkey. He's really he's really good. I like him for all of my games just because if you just have a sniper monkey with uh, I think it's third or fourth tier bottom and the second tier top, he will take down a Moab. And then all you need to do is clean up the pieces afterwards. So that's really helpful. So like I said, first thing we're going to do is get this 1405 with the monkey magician and I don't know if you guys have noticed but in this game compared to BTD5 monkey magician is overpowered so I was playing around in the sandbox for a while and I went to his fourth tier upgrade and this little monkey this little magi magician monkey can destroy Moab's um, what are they called the red o what, are, what are they even called right now the red ones the OMFGs I think they are but those ones, he can take those, and if you give him enough time, he can have a ZOMG, which is really awesome, considering in the last game he was kind of weak, I thought. I don't really like him too much. So it overpowered him, and I would choose him over a super monkey any day, um, given that he's a third of the cost. So next we're going to get our sniper monkey. And a sniper monkey, what I like to do is just throw him anywhere on the map, as long as he's not blocked, just to keep him out of my main group of people. Because uh, I want more people in that front to pop for popping power later on. So get Full Metal Jacket so we can take down those purples when they come. And then we're going to get him up to one, one, two, two. So bottom layer. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Keep popping those down. It's free pops. Might as well use them, you know? Little brimble bush here. And what are we at? Okay, so he's good. He's going to take down those purple. Remember to keep employing your brimble bush. See? Perfect. He got our purples out of the way. That's our main issue. And now we put some banana farms down. And so Oberon covers the lead. So does our sniper monkey. And Magician covers our camo. So we're pretty good at this point. So we're going to get some banana farms. And we're going to put them wherever we can to get them out of the way. And we're just going to swipe, 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 swipe. A little ridiculous, but what are you going to do? And for this, for this mode, hard mode, you really don't need bananas. You can just keep playing as normal. But I like to have as most money as I can. Who wouldn't? So I just attack mode with these things. Uh, I'm going to be a little greedy here and go for two banana farms before I upgrade. My strategy, if you watch my videos in the past, is I usually go... Uh, what I'll do is I'll get a banana farm and get a and then upgrade a monkey. Get a banana farm, upgrade a monkey. Ba back and forth, back and forth, so I never overpower one over the other. Because you don't want to get too greedy with money, but you don't want to be too overpowered with no money. So that'll leave you broke later on. So... Uh, we got double upgrades for that, so now we're going to upgrade our sniper because the Zeo or the OMG, no, the blue big guy is going to be coming at 40. So we want to take him out. You think I would know the names of these things after playing so much, but you just make your own names after a while. And let's get him. So we're going to get our 3780, so our third tier bottom. That's going to be our first upgrade. And then if we have enough, which I know we will, we'll we'll upgrade that top one. Like I said, I've used this strategy on every single beginner map, and it works without a doubt. And then, so now, by the time he gets there, we're going to get this 1621. And this will take out the, uh, the OMG pretty much on his own. And then the monkeys will, our other monkeys will clean up the pieces. But just in case, we don't want to be left dead in the water over here. We are going to... What are we going to upgrade, guys? Um, you know, actually, we're just going to... We're just going to wait this one out. I think we can handle without him. So we're going to get another banana farm here. Uh, this might be a risk on this map just because it doesn't circle too much. So it might be a risk. We might lose a couple lives here. And I don't know if you noticed, but in my top left corner over there, we have... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hang on, guys. Is he going to take it? Is he going to take it? And he did. So that thing's a little monster. So now we know that... That was our hardest one coming. The next couple levels are pretty easy, so we're going to upgrade our banana farms. I only go for four, especially on hard. There's no reason to have more. Um, you can take it down pretty much with four or five characters. So back to what I was saying. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but in the top left corner, I have that plus 25, which what happens is, is let's say three balloons go through. It'll go down to 22, but then on the next round, it'll go right back up to, our, to 25. So it's called the mana shield. It's one of those knowledge upgrades. I also have the knowledge upgrade to start off my hero on level three. You might say that's cheating, and most people are some people are peer and don't want to do that, and I understand. But um, as far as it goes for me, I just it doesn't matter. It's just more for fun, right? You're just trying to play and have a good time. So why, tr if you know you're going to do the same strategy anyway, and it's going to work either way, just have a little bit of fun with it. Um, let's see here. Why are you pausing? So what we're going to do is next we're almost close to 10,000 so we're gonna upgrade to this wizard and I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this wizard is oh that could have been dangerous those were purple camos so we don't really have anything to fight for those so that's a little dangerous but we'll be fine uh, we got lucky that our brimble thing was out otherwise we would have probably lost some lost some lives there so wizard is gonna be the next one and you will see that he is just ridiculous he overpowered in the beginning levels and he can take down everything which is amazing but now just to be safe we want to get something that'll take down those camo purples um, what do I want to do here so another way to do it too is what I would do if, if there is a water level throw in this guy uh, bump him up to bump him up to the top fourth tier one we'll do it right now just because we're now he can take down everything, literally everything, and that's amazing. So we just let him do his job, but now if there wasn't water on that level, what I would recommend is let's say, 
let's say a uh, ninja monkey. Put him in this little alcove right here. And let's get rid of this guy. Now ninja monkey is just as strong. Put him on strong. And for, he's not just as strong as the, um, the sub, but what the sub does, he just demolishes everything in his path that's a bloom, which is amazing. I love that thing. If there's a water, use it. That's what I'm saying. But just in case you're watching this and you're like, oh, I'm stuck on a level that doesn't have water, um, just throw down a ninja monkey. He'll take down those purples, put it along strong. You got your wizard to clean up the rest. There's literally nothing that can come at you right now that's going to harm you. We can literally ride this, this little four people out until 63 which I like to upgrade just because uh, 63 is the monster as everybody knows so let's get our banana farms up and yeah just keep getting the banana farms up get all four of them to the what is that third tier yeah third tier keep rocking your little brimble bushes so this is just a basic strategy for hard on the beginner maps we'll get into a little more advanced strategies or you guys can tell me what you want to see and we'll go from there but it just wizard sniper uh, Oban, Oberon and ninja and or sub can pretty much take everything um, if we can get to 20,000 before we have to go to level 63 then I'm just gonna go a little bit greedy here and upgrade to my uh, uh, upgrade to my top banana farm over here. Well, I guess not top anymore. Now you have those super upgrades. But I don't know about you guys, but I rarely, rarely, rarely get the top upgrade for any monkey or any tower just because you run out of time. Either the game's over or you don't need that or why spend 60,000 on something that's weak when you can have two sun god monkeys that are just, you know, going to obliterate everything in its path. So yeah, that's pretty much where that's at. But we are coming close to 63. I don't even know what I want to use. I mean, I love my my or my or wizard monkey. The one thing I like to do a little different, or not even different, is... Um, so I don't know if you've been using this guy, but you definitely should. So what I'm doing right here is I'm making sure he's in range of my wizard. Just my wizard. If you get him in range of everybody else, then he's going to throw his potions at him. But this guy... And if you upgrade him to 1, 2, 3, 4... He's going to throw potions at your wizard. I'm not sure if you use this guy, but if you don't, you really need to utilize it. I played around with Sandbox with this guy, and it's unbelievable. I, don't, I wouldn't say he doubles the power, but he makes it such a significant increase that it's just like, are you serious right now? So it's really cool. And you'll see, watch him just take down this red guy like it's nothing. He just That was all him. It may look like the other guys were helping, but they really weren't. So what he does is he extends your attack, strength, and I believe speed. And as you can see, um, his his radius circle will go up and down, watch. So it'll drop once the potion wears off, and then it'll shoot back up. See, just like that. And uh, what he's doing is he's just extending you, making you even stronger. So now we got finally Banana Farm. Um, Magician Monkey will do all the damage, but you, you think, okay, well, just to be on the safe side, I don't want to get cocky or anything. Let's throw down another wizard. But mind you guys, at this point, you can literally do whatever you want. You made it to the end at this point. Um, it is level 63, so don't be don't get a little too crazy. But you're gonna take down everything that comes at you right now. Watch, he'll just do it all himself. Boom, 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 boom. Or you got your tree there. I forgot about my tree. He's gonna do the damage too. So uh, we're gonna get another wizard. And as you guys know, 63 is pretty hard, and these guys are just destroying it like it's nothing. So, next what we're going to do is get another wizard. Okay, so the max you want to have with your alchemy monkey is the max you're going to want to have is two towers. He can't handle three or four, so don't even try. It's not worth it. Have him hitting these two wizards, and they're unbelievable right now. There's really nothing they can't touch. Um, and we're only going to level 80. This is hard. So we have one ZOMG to fight. It's really not that difficult. Now, if we were on, not even chimps. Chimps is pretty easy as well. If we were doing impoppable, impoppable would get insane. So that's where we have to change up our strategy drastically, and we can't get really cocky. We gotta throw down some uh, super monkeys and some bombs and all that good stuff just to get us even sane in the round. But this, um, I have confidence that this could run us to level 80. But we're gonna throw more on there just to show you some of these cool towers we got in BTD6. In case you guys weren't aware of all the cool stuff, another thing I like to do on harder maps and easy maps, whichever, 
is you throw down this little gluer guy, put him on, I think it's third tier, and then fourth if you can afford it. We got the money, why not? And then put him on glue soak and corrosive glue, and put him on strong. So what that's going to do is every Moab that comes through, he's going to stop them, which gives our wizards enough time just to just put the herd on. Same with this little guy. Let's upgrade him too. Forget about it. Look how fast he's going. He's a little zoomer. So he's going to glue everything that comes at him, especially the uh, the OMGs. So that's really cool. And then we have this green tree. I don't know if you've been paying attention to my green tree that Oberon's shooting out. But this thing is money on its own, literally. He, If you reset him when he's had blooms go through or he pops, the tree blows up, you get more money. So he fills up, fills up, fills up, and then gives you money in return. It's really nice, really cool feature. Uh, you can't beat it. So now we have two banana farms. A little overkill. As I said, this will take down the whole rest of the level. But just for fun, let's throw in some more towers so you guys can see. Another one you might like is... Um, he's somewhat cheaper than going like full-on sun monkey. But if you throw on... Get in there, buddy. Get in there. He's a lot bigger in this game. Okay. So if you throw him down to go knock back, now we can see camo. Throw on some vision there. And just so we can get there before the game ends, let's sell some of this stuff. Okay, you want to throw it on to plasma, so two, and then bottom go up three. Now we're never going to be able to afford 64,800. We don't really need it. It's unnecessary. But this little guy on his own can do some horrible damage to these big old OMGs. That's what his specialty is if you look at it. It says... Uh, Deals extra damage to Moab cast balloons. So he just goes at them on a rampage. It's really cool. So uh, we're done for the most part. So I can just sit here and relax. There's nothing that's going to stop us. Uh, you might think, oh no, the ZMG is going through. But it won't. It can't. Not with our little wizards. Now on another video when I'm throwing a little rambunctious, we might just actually throw on just the wizards and see what we can do. So... Um, so yeah, so again, thank you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I didn't know I'd get that much feedback. If I talk too much or don't talk enough or I don't say the right things, let me know in comments. Um, you can say, I even like the mean ones. Those are pretty funny too. Um, so let's keep them rolling. And then like I said, if you need help with a level or you think I should do try a different strategy, I'm always up for game two to learn the new, learn the new stuff that everyone else is doing. So if you think I can do it a little better or handle things a little differently, uh, free feel, to, feel free to let me know and I'll, I want to learn too and where are we at we're still only on 70 oh my gosh but you can see my tree popping right there getting you some money so I think my next video is so the one I have a hard time with sometimes alternate balloon rounds so I'm going to think I'm throw up a video of that show you my one of my strategies for that and then I think I'm going to throw up a, like maybe an advanced track so you guys can have like a little basis of a strategy that might work for you guys Again, um, let me know if you guys don't use the knowledge upgrades, because then I can uh, turn those off on mine too, so we can all play on the same same game frame. I don't want to be doing something that you guys think is cheating, or um, or maybe I'm using the wrong knowledge upgrades and you want to see the other ones. I have a ton of money that I have not spent on here, so uh, let me know and I can upgrade mine to see which ones are the best. And there you have it. So that's a very simple strategy. As you can see, the monkeys, uh, wizards did most of the work, so you don't even need to go past them if you don't want to. Um, I would throw on maybe a Moab Crippler or the Glue Gunner just to throw it, slow down that ZOMG so you don't get overwhelmed by them at the end. But other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll post a new video tomorrow. And keep liking, commenting, subscribing, and I really appreciate the feedback and the love, guys. I appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.